it's interesting being in the middle of the end of a dynasty while seeing a dynasty thrive. And this is happening in sports right now. I don't know how much you've thought about this or how much this is registered for you, but the Chiefs are thriving clearly as a dynasty. Yes. Six straight appearances in the AFC Championship game, four Super Bowl appearances now, two championships, maybe three looming as Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs get ready to take on the Niners. And at the exact same time it's thriving, the Golden State dynasty in the NBA appears to be over. Yes. Now, old takes expose this because, you know, maybe they make a massive trade. But a report came out yesterday from Shams that I thought was a pretty big deal. They are currently shopping Wiggins and Paul, but they also are open to Clay and even Draymond stuff. And when you when you throw that out, not that Clay is going to get traded, not that Draymond's going to get traded, but it kind of lends itself to oh, they finally reached the point where they've seen that this construction isn't going to cut it in this league anymore. Yeah. And the the recent adjustments to the salary cap for the, you know, they created multi-tiers to the luxury tax thing. It severely hampers them trying to make a deal, too. They have spent more money than any team yeah. I in mean, that they league. The Chase Center, and it's, you know... Their luxury were, tax bill's been high. They were printing money for a while. They are, but they're spending a lot of it, too, yeah. to keep the players intact. And Clay is at this point where he can still shoot, but he's not been nearly the defender he once was. No, which, he, can't, he can't blanket guys the way he used to. Which you can't fault. I mean, when you have an ACL and an Achilles injury back-to-back, -back, I don't yeah. even know how you stay in the league with that. And Draymond has been volatile and still good defensively, but very limited offensively outside of some passing. And so they're, they're not good. Right now, Golden State is in a little bit of a free fall here. They are 19-24. and 24. They lost on Saturday night to the Lakers and LeBron, who are not much better. No. And it, it kind of appears that that Warrior Dynasty run is done. They're not even in the play-in right now, Swag. And I find it fascinating that at the same time that's happening, Mahomes and the Chiefs Dynasty run is still in the midst of it, and it doesn't appear that that's going to slow down uh, anytime soon. But finally, we may have gotten out of the hellscape that is Golden State being the, at the top of the mountain in that league. Yeah, they it, if they and it's going to be really rough for them if they totally undo it, because I don't. Do you think they'll really move Clay? I know that it's the it's sports. We've seen greats leave, but it just feels so weird to say out loud that they might be trading uh, Clay Thompson. I don't know. I, I that would be really hard for him to do. If we were doing a show in San Francisco and this is the team we're covering. What do you think your take is? Because they're bad. Yep. Uh, one, I think it's really hard to move. Two, I don't think you're going to get anything great in return. So if you're moving him, you're trying to get the contract off the books because you want to just start over again. I don't know how easy it is to do. Um, it feels like a really tough thing to build when you're only trying to build around one player. Yeah. And he's a great player. I mean, he's an all time great player. Yep. I wonder if they start to go back and figure out where it got jammed, uh, how much they regret the James Wiseman draft pick. Oh, I mean, that's, I would, I, I think you can make Katie deciding to leave because his ego couldn't handle that. It was Steph's team and that people weren't giving him real credit for championships that's a, obviously a big deal. That has got to be right up there of, oh, we made the wrong decision. He was and, what, number two? He was number two. Ann Edwards went one. And I know this guy's been hurt, but you know who was available in the draft? There were two players that I thought would have worked really well with that team, and they bypassed both of them. One of them got picked right after Wiseman. LaMelo Ball would have been really good on this team. And Tyrese Halliburton. Yeah. He was a, not later, but like he was just a few picks down. Yep. Wasn't quite looked at in that process as a top three pick. That's, that's certainly, I mean, imagine having Tyrese Halliburton with Steph Curry. Yep. That feels like a bit of a cheat code. And so I, I, I think that draft pick ultimately was their, their, their big undoing. They were so reliant upon him to be 
the big that would facilitate and and that could help keep it going without taking on a big salary. And it just it never worked. It never really. Yeah, it never worked for them. Uh, ended up being a bit of a fail. So I'm looking. Halliburton went 12th in that draft. And here is always the underrated part of that draft. Because, you know, I think you see some of the talent past them, past Wiseman, who's been yeah. not good at all. I think people kill him for it. And, and you know, kind of rightfully so. But the one bit of defense and caveat I throw in there, that was a COVID draft. Yeah. The process was not the no, same you as... get as much... Yes. Up close, hands-on distancing and like yeah i i might be wrong but like maybe working out with masks on so it's like what what were you doing in that process that's different from normal well a hell of a lot and so it's not to suggest that they would have gotten the pick right but had it been a normal process is halliburton come in just for a workout and like oh holy crap because ann edwards was clearly the pick from minnesota that they nailed that pick that that was a huge part of their undoing uh, they took Wiseman, and in that draft, there was two guys after that that I think would have fit in really well. Even Vassal for the Spurs. I, yep. You can make an argument he's not a game changer per se. He just got a monster extension with San Antonio this offseason. So I, Golden State, it's interesting. In the same time, Kansas City has just continued to rise and climb and stay at the top. Golden State's been there with them this entire journey, and now you're seeing kind of the end in the fall. Yeah. And I think for them, when it comes apart, it's going to come completely apart. Well, like, it's going to take them two or three years. Oh, yeah. Minimum. I mean, is Steph going to be a warrior forever? I I think he has to be. Hmm. Okay. Um, um, Sports doesn't give us that a whole lot. No. I think it's, I think it's the Reggie Miller route for him. Kind of just be, the, I mean, the resume is already pretty amazing. There's really, yeah, outside of ring chasing or going to a situation that so, can get him. I that. mean, he's, he's as tied to that organization and that community. And so, you know, and as a mentor to, you know, if he can be there when, wh- whenever the new crop of guys come in to show him what it takes to be a pro, the work ethic that he goes through, all of those sorts of things, if you, are committed and you want to go there, this is what it's like. This is what you have to persevere through. This is what you have to be prepared for. This is how you prepare. Uh, the bigger question is who's going to be the coach. I don't know how much longer Kerr holds on. Kerr doesn't feel like he's long for that job. I, if, if you told me he stepped down at the end of the year, I he, wouldn't be stunned. He stung. looks just absolutely worn out and well, exhausted. I mean, dude, think about this for that a second. Physically, his back is a mess. That thing started in 2015. It's 2024. That's a decade of dynasty of peak basketball. That's that'll wear on anybody. And they've been able to keep it together. They won a title just two years ago, but it appears that it is over in Golden State right now. As Sham saying they're shopping Wiggins and Paul. Probably gonna try to hold on to Clay and Dre and see what they can get and maybe they can turn that around, but they're not even in the play in yet. And they don't look anywhere near like a legit contender.